Hey everyone, it's Nicole Burnett with Queen Hemp Company back for another session of Hydra Masterclass. Today we're going to have a continuation of our integrated pest management series and cover root aphids. Root aphids are one of the most destructive insects, probably the top two, uh, uh, that you could have for an indoor grow operation. They seem to be particularly dangerous for indoor grows because of the lack of natural predators and they're also tricky because of the fact that they look so very much like um, a fungus gnat. They are similar in size, they're almost identical except for a root aphid adult will have their wings held slightly higher than a fungus gnat and then their abdomen shape is different. So from the outset you may think you're dealing with a fungus gnat issue when in fact you have root aphids. Some of the other symptomology, plant symptomology, is that there is yellowing of the leaves starting at the bottom of the canopy, and then sometimes you'll see um, rust spotting along the leaves um, close to the stems um, and the veining of the leaves. And that's also one of those things that can, it might look like something else before you identify it as a root aphid issue. So another phase of their development is what I like to call the crawler phase and they um, and the nymphs are small, pale, yellowish, sometimes white, and they're at the root zone. So look and check the roots, the bottom of the plant, dig down into the medium to check, and if you see these, that is 100% a sure sign that you have a root aphid issue. So there are many ways to go about treating um, this. I would say eradication is almost impossible unless you're cutting your grow down. Um, that's why they're so destructive because it's, it's because of their life cycle. So the adult winged phase, um, they can reproduce asexually. The females, their life cycle is about 30 days during which time they will have live babies almost every day, doubling their populations every two to five days. Um, they also, these, the little babies will mature in nine days, so they're then again reproducing, reproducing asexually and continuing that life cycle. The crawlers um, will then develop and move up the stem. One of the things that you can do is uh, band your stems, um, put tanglefoot or some other sticky trap around the, the stem of the plant itself. The sticky traps will also catch the adults um, if you're hanging those IPM cards up in your grow. Uh, green and brown lace wings are also, will go after the adult winged form. Ladybugs, um, some of the parasitic wasps. Um, you can also use some applications of neem and, and products like that. As long as you're making sure to double check when in the development of the plant, what stage you're in, and if that's approved. Um, the best thing that I have found for the crawler stage is a product that is it's a um, liquid or powder and it's impregnated with a fungus called Boruvia bassinia and it is a fungus that will attack soft-bodied insects in larval stages and stages and nymph stages and it will kill them and knock them back but again what's so tricky about this is because they have they reproduce so quickly and they um, it's more of a management not really an eradication so if you can catch it early enough and your plants are strong enough you may make it to the end of your grow um, if, if it's early and you don't have a lot of root development you need to be very careful you're likely going to lose the whole grow and so you need to consider your economic threshold for even continuing with that grow only to find out at the end that you won't make it so early identification, having the integrated pest management program put in place, and then following it and having all of the supplies and, and everything you need available before you have that problem is the best way to combat a root aphid issue. Um, thanks very much. I hope you all have um, a happy new year, and I will be back again soon with another session of Hydro Masterclass.